Anything else here in your rainbow sexy talk? I don't think so. Oh, they, after we talked about Ghostbusters last week, they sent me a code. <laughs> nice. So I played a little bit. I played the first level of Ghostbusters. It's pretty good, right? It's all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, thank you. I'm glad you got that code, Wombat. The first uh-huh. level isn't that great. Because is that I, what it I, is? Or I need to get through the first level. Yeah, it's also I, a decade old game. That's the other. Yes, I know. Every game I've been playing the last week is between ten to twenty years old. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's the first level of that game where Bill Murray. You're not really sure if he's got his heart in it or not. Like uh, I, I, I can tell. <laughs> I know the answer to that question. <laughs> I think it gets. I think he he gets more excited later. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. But I remember thinking, whoa, did somebody like have him at gunpoint to, to, to do this or what? Um, the game's pretty good, though. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Let's move on. Let's get out of your sexy talk. And I think yes. we're moving on to right on to Nintendo. Did we talk about Mario and Sonic at the Olympics already? or No, or we this haven't. New? This is fresh. This, this is fresh because it's not out yet. I've, Sweet. I've wow. It for, for a Scoops. little while here. Scoops. Um, yeah, I... I quite like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It's uh I I can't fully review it until next week, I think. But Does it I have table tennis? It. Uh I haven't played table tennis yet. It may. This is a good review. It's got quite a few <laughs> quite a few events. The story mode is what I've been playing with, so I haven't like just jumped into different events. Like this the story mode starts off and uh, Bowser and Eggman or Robotnik. I can't remember which one he is now. Um, ha- Robotnik has come up with this portable gaming device, the Tokyo 64. And it sucks all, all of the characters back into Tokyo Olympics 1964, which is where they do all the retro stuff at. So that's where all the 8-bit bit and 16-bit graphics are at. Oh, oh, cool. Look at that. I'm looking at the screenshots. It lo- does look pretty neat. Yeah, like the first time you see that, like I, I knew that was part of this going in because they, they advertised it as such. But like the first time, like it's up on screen and you're like holding the switch and you're like, you see 16-bit Sonic next to 8-bit Mario and they're like talking and everything. Yeah. it's I, It gets the nostalgia going pretty hard. That nerd nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, like it's like, all right, you got me. I'm... I'm all in on this. It um, says there's 30 plus events. There's a lot that, of events. And they don't even list them all. They right. They say just, and many more. So, I, but I think if they had ping pong, it would be listed in like the, yeah, up front. So it's got like a whole like story mode, like where you're, you're walking around with these characters and it's swapping back between like the modern day and the retro stuff back and forth. Hmm. Um, and you're learning facts about the Olympics and Tokyo and it's, it's all very well done and cute and it it's simplistic on the gameplay, but still, still fun. Like there's enough meat there, uh, enough variety. It feels like you're playing like a kind of like a Wario wears types thing. Cool. Not quite that fast, like switching between things, but uh, it's, it's well done. It's not a cheap cash in. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. 